My name is Amanda Damon, and I'm a Homeworks by Precept consultant in Augusta, Maine. Today, we're going to take a look at the fifth edition Logos Life Science Kit. When you open your science kit, you will find most of the items packaged and labeled to make them easier to find. You will also find a list of supplies needed. Most of these are easily found in your household or your school supplies. We have things such as scissors, a computer, apple juice, a freezer, a dumbbell. As you continue through your addendum, each lab will be listed with materials needed as well as any additional instructions if there are any. Any materials with an asterisk next to them are materials that you will need to provide. Let's take a look at Chapter 11. In this chapter, your student will be studying animal structure and function. In Lab 11D, they will be looking at conserving heat, wool versus down. Your student will find their lab worksheets inside of their activities manual. For lab 11D, we have staying cozy. Our key questions for this lab are how can the abilities of different materials to conserve heat energy be compared? And is one kind of body covering better than another at conserving heat? We also have the equipment we will need. Containers, each with a lid that has a hole, unspun wool, down, three thermometers, and a freezer. Your student's procedure is also listed. Keep in mind, you will want to look at your student's addendum in their science lab kit to see if there are any slight changes to this lab. In our addendum, we can see that the containers with lids have been replaced with sealable plastic bags instead. Proceed with the directions for the lab. Some labs do not require any changes as seen here in lab 13F, firing up. Take note of any directions where there is some italicized text at the bottom. Here we see if dumbbells are not available, food cans can be used. Well, that's it for Logos 5th edition life science. I hope you have a great time with the course and happy learning.